Hi, I'm Michael Burton, executive producer for Real Entertainment located in Atlanta, Georgia. We offer full service video production for any project. Uh, now I want to talk to you about troubleshooting your Windows XP drivers. If you're having trouble with one of your Windows XP drivers, I'm going to show you right now how to troubleshoot that, that problem. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go to your start menu. You're going to want to go over my computer and you're going to want to right click. It's going to bring up a little drop down menu here. First of all, you want to go to manage. When you click on manage, it gives you a few options on the left hand side. This is your computer, ma computer management window. We want to go to the d device manager, which is going to allow you to manage all of your drivers and update them. Let's say, for example, you're having an issue with your keyboard. So right here where it says keyboard, you're going to want to show all your keyboard devices. And on your actual keyboard device, you're going to want to right click. This gives you a couple options. One, you can update the driver, which sometimes if you're having an issue with, like, for example, your keyboard, it can just be that the driver's out of date and it needs to be updated, um, especially if you've installed a new keyboard that, that already online has an updated driver that did not come with your purchase. So you can go ahead and click Update Driver, and it will search the web for the most recent driver. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, this is asking you if you want Windows uh, to search the wizard to search for the, the software this time or every time and it says no at this time. So I'm going to say yes this time only and let's have it search. Now it says that it can install it automatically which is recommended. What that means is it's going to look online first to see if it has the software. If it doesn't, you uh, like if you have a CD-ROM that came with it, you can actually uh, click right here where it says install from a list or specific location. Um, Let's go ahead and search automatically. Now, if it can't find an updated driver online, what it's going to do is ask me if I had a CD-ROM that came with my purchase. And, of course, if I don't, it, well, I should have. So it says that the, better, the wizard could not find a better match for your hardware than the software you have currently installed. So I have the most up-to-date driver on my keyboard. So if I was still having an issue, um, I could always try rolling back the driver. Uh, if you right-click on again on your keyboard, and you go to properties this will give you the option to troubleshoot right here you can also go up to where it says driver up here on this tab and it'll give you the option to roll back the driver and it'll roll back to any previously installed drivers now if you never had a previously installed driver another thing that you can do is try clicking here on the uninstall uh, that's one way to get to the uninstall another way to get to the uninstall is by again right clicking here under your computer management on the keyboard tab right clicking and there's the uninstall option as well so you've got two uninstall options what you'll do is you'll uninstall the driver and then you'll restart your computer and now when you restart so you go down to start and you you know go to turn off your computer and you go to restart once you restart your computer uh, if you're missing that driver it'll ask you again whether it, whether you want it to go out on the internet and try to find the driver for you you say yes chances are it's going to find a driver for you and it's got to be the most up-to-date one so it might just take if you're having an issue it might just take uninstalling your driver and reinstalling it once again or again rolling back or just updating the driver